dear students in today's video we will learn about the polymerization process with which we can produce synthetic petrol because there are many countries which do not have the oil fields and therefore to produce their synthetic petrol they use polymerization method they have coal fields in the countries so with the help of coal they produce coke and from coke they produce water gas which on polymerization gives a liquid similar to the gasoline or petrol with a better anti knocking properties so let us study in this video about the polymerization types of polymerization and fischer tropsch process for the production of synthetic petrol so the synthesis of petrol using polymerization technique i have already explained you that we have prepared the gasoline of high octane rating using catalytic cracking but when we go for cracking we use the heavy oil which is obtained from the crude oil but countries which do not have the crude oil deposits but have coal deposits use an alternate process of production of gasoline using the coke so let us first understand what is polymerization polymerization is converse of cracking in cracking i have told you that a high molecular weight hydrocarbon that is a big hydrocarbon is broken into small pieces with low molecular weight hydrocarbons either by temperature or by catalytic activity so polymerization is addition of small hydrocarbons to give a large hydrocarbon this is achieved either by subjecting the addition of small weight small molecular weight hydrocarbons under high temperature and pressure or by the activity of catalyst so poly means many and mers means units when many units are joined together they give rise to a big molecule this is polymerization and the polymerization can be categorized into thermal polymerization or catalytic polymerization the thermal polymerization is brought about at a high temperature around 550 to 600 degrees and pressure requirement is about 100 to 350 kg per cm2 so this type of polymerization is known as thermal polymerization but in the catalytic polymerization the temperature is quite low in the range of 180 to 200 degrees centigrade and pressure also is very low around 1 to 10 kilograms per centimeter square so the catalytic polymerization is a much better technique than the thermal polymerization and the quality of the petrol obtained by catalytic polymerization is much much better than the thermal polymerization there are two methods for bring about the catalytic polymerization one is burgius method and the other is fischer tropsch method so in this video we will learn the fischer tropsch method for polymerization the fischer tropsch method of polymerization is based on the production of petrol from water gas so water gas can be obtained by passing steam over heated coke now this water gas contains impurities in the form of sulfur which are removed by passing it over oxides of iron and a mixture of oxides of iron and sodium carbonate which is then purified further and compressed the compressed mixture is then 
pass through the catalytic chamber containing the catalyst in the form of finely grounded powder of 100 parts of cobalt, 5 parts of thoria, 8 parts of magnesia, 200 parts of kisselgar earth and it is maintained at 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. When we pass the water gas over the catalyst at a high temperature, the low molecular weight hydrocarbons present in it gets polymerized and produces a mixture of saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons which is then led through the cooler because this polymerization reaction is exothermic in nature. So the hot vapors are led through the cooler and the condensed liquid which is then obtained from the cooler are subjected to fractionation to get the gasoline. The heavy oil which is produced during the process is subjected to cracking to get more gasoline. Let us see the figure here. So first the water gas which is produced is led through the first tower containing the iron oxide and the sulfur in the form of H2S is removed. From the top leading through a pipe it is led into the other purification tower containing iron oxide and sodium carbonate which is kept in heaps on the partitions shown in the tower to remove the organic sulfur. Once the sulfur impurities are removed, the hydrogen, the water gas is then compressed to about 5 to 25 atmospheres and then it is led into the catalytic chamber containing the catalyst and maintained at around 250 to 300 degrees centigrade when where polymerization reactions takes place and then the uncondensed hot gases are let into the cooler. From the cooler they are led to the fractionating column and the fractionating column works on the principle of difference in the boiling point where the lighter uncondensed gases rises up and the heavy liquid settles down as heavy oil and drain from the bottom and they are subjected to cracking what we have learned in the previous video and the upper liquid which resembles the gasoline is drained and this is a very high quality petrol obtained with the help of polymerization reactions using fischer tropsch method. The reactions which takes place are written here. The water gas which is enriched with more hydrogen undergo polymerization and produces olefins and also it produces paraffins that is paraffins are saturated hydrocarbons, olefins are unsaturated hydrocarbons and they further polymerize to produce a liquid which re resembles the gasoline. So this is how the gasoline can be produced synthetically using the fischer tropsch method and the countries which do not have the crude oil can produce high quality petrol using this process. Thank you.